Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the tutorial on Groovy. So in this session, this is an introduction um, session to the Groovy technology. And we are going to look at what is the features and um, what is what are the driving factors uh, to come up with the Groovy technology. Okay, let us go ahead and start. Groovy is an Agile. That means Agile means it is going to be simplifies and uh, fast, it simplifies the development um, efforts for the developers. And also for the uh, continuous delivery process, the Groovy is comes as a technology. And also it is a dynamic language for the Java virtual machine. Now let us see what are the uh, few um, pain points when we are working with the Java technology or the Java. Now, for example, if I want to create a class, then all the uh, uh, when I declare the properties, then I need to always specify the properties as a private and then setter getter methods. So a lot, lot of the stuff we need to uh, include it whenever we are creating a classes. At the same time, whenever we are uh, interacting with the, uh, JDBC, then there are, la there are a duplicate um, efforts or the duplicate code you need to write in order to talk to the database, either it is getting the result sets and then you uh, first you need to connect it to the database and then creating a statement and then uh, execute the query in the case of result set you need to iterate through the result set and finally you need to convert into the java object so these are the these are like a some of the um, uh, efforts it can uh, eliminate and those are the things the groovy already taken care of it and uh, it has simplified lot of um, uh, a lot of duplicate efforts whatever we are doing the java and then comes with the um, simplified um, technology which works on top of the Java and now it also have the additional features such as um, additional features inspired by the language like a Python or the Ruby and these will work on a scripting uh, script based um, uh, object oriented programming so along with the uh, on top of the Java um, uh, features it has provided additional features which are uh, comes as part of the other object oriented languages like Python or the Ruby or the Smalltalk and it has integrated so that now it is almost simplified your development efforts so that you can deliver the um, software very fast and it is going to be very simple and easy to learn because it is going to provide a modern programming capabilities um, to your development pro, uh, development um, for your development with a minimum uh, learning curve what i mean to say is if you know java then you can work with the groovy very easily because Gro you can write your code even in the groovy technology you can write a java code it's still going to support that means basically whenever you are writing a groovy code and finally it is going to convert it into a byte code only hence it is going to be simple and easy to learn who know the java technology and also it is going to support um, the statically type check and statically compile your code for the performance and the robustness of your uh, robustness of your software Stat statically type check means it is going to check the uh, whatever the types you are the uh, variables whatever you are defining at the compile time and at the same time it, you, in case of any issues uh, it found during the compilation it will throw you error so that it will not have any impact when you are running this program and also it is it, you can you can integrate uh, the groovy code with your domain specific languages what is meant by domain specific language language is nothing but there are a few technology or the few frameworks which is which is going to solve the domain specific problem for example object t is for um, uh, uh, it is for um, mac uh, the, um, basically ios is basically uses the um, this concept and if you take if you take um, sap abap is a one uh, framework they have come up with the to solve their business specific business nodes business specific business needs so if you are working with the, those type of uh, domain specific language still the groovy you can go ahead and um, you can integrate those applications with the groovy code that means even you can use those type of things in the groovy so that it does not have any 
um, impact of or it will not it will allow you to integrate um, the domain specific languages and also um, if you see the Java it always the code has to be in the we, everything it needs to be in the classes and class is going to be mandatory but Groovy is comes with the concept of the shell and build scripts in the you can you can add the dependencies which are you are going to use in the pom.xml those dependencies scripts you can still go ahead and use in the Groovy code at the same time if you want to write a shell scripting related to the particular program then the in the Groovy code you can still it is going to support as it is going to be um, it is increasing the pro uh, it is going to increase the developer productivity because it simplifies the lot of things how you are going to interact with the database and when you are developing the web applications you can simply you can simplify a lot of things which is uh, either in the case of how you are going to interact with the model or interacting with the service and uh, how you are iterating through the um, uh, how we are mapping the objects and how iterating the through the object so there are a lot of cool features it has come up with that and we are going to see those things in a later uh, point of time but at this time you can you can consider that groovy is going to increase your productivity by reducing the lot of um, duplicate efforts what we are doing in the case of java and the groovy uh, comes as uh, itself it comes with the specific uh, it has its own uh, um, unit test framework it comes as part of the groovy framework or Groovy technology using that it is going to simplify your testing and also you can mocking also you can include as part of the uh, Groovy so that the unit writing a unit test cases and testing your application is going to be very easy and also as I explained the Groovy technology uh, comes on top of uh, Java that means it has uh, all the whatever the strengths it has with the Java technology it has there and it has additional capabilities so you can integrate this Groovy code with all the existing that means you can integrate with um, all the Java classes whatever you are going to create that you can integrate it to the Java uh, Groovy application then still it is going to be supported as you the whatever the groovy code you are going to write are the groovy files finally it is going to convert it into a dot class file and in turn that we call as a byte code as it is going to generate the byte code we can consider this is a portable across the all the uh, operating system where the specific jvm is available so these are the uh, main features which are available uh, in the groovy and the next tutorial we are going to see how we can set up the local environment to work with the Groovy. Thanks for watching.